Are there any more of those little flies? There's one. There's one right there. Real. I love how you notice beautiful little things. There's one. Oh, I see it. Justice was just noticing these tiny little flies, or maybe they're tiny little bees, on this plantain bloom. Today we've got to get Dolly some more grazing. We've had her down by the barn down here, kind of fenced in a small paddock because we're keeping her out of our pasture right now because it's about to be cut for hay and we don't want her to trample it. She's been in that paddock though, eating hay, eating just a little bit of grass down there. We're gonna get her out of there today. And I'm actually gonna put her in this strip, this long strip where we have our apple trees. Um, it's grown up in grass. She's gonna love it. There's a mix of legumes and grass, but I need to build a quick temporary fence in order to get her out here. Why'd you pick those flowers? Well, I love mommy. Because you love mommy? Justice is always picking flowers for his mommy because he loves her so much. He's quite the little gentleman. Putting in a few screw in insulators up here. There's a heavy growth of clover up in here. So I've fenced off about three quarters of that so she doesn't go up in there and just eat pure clover. Um, so she'll have access to a portion of that. And then when her belly's full, one of these evenings we can let her up there and let her work on it. I've also fenced off. A little section of sunflowers with a single wire right here so she doesn't get in the sunflowers if there was a busy highway next door um, we would probably not just use a single strand with no perimeter fence but we're gonna be here all day today keeping an eye on her Are you happy in here? Yeah, except for the flies. Dolly is so happy having this fresh grass. I think we're learning her language because she's been out here kind of bellowing in the paddock over by the barn. And we thought she doesn't sound happy, but now she, we know she wasn't happy because now that she's out here, she's totally quiet. She's grazing, she's been up and eating clover at the top. She's been all through, tasted what she likes, and she's just settled down, down here to gobbling grass and filling up her rumen. Salt and minerals here. We're gonna get a bigger salt block today. Kelp right here, and about 20 gallons, well, 10 gallons of water there. We'll fill that up later today. Those flies are really bothering her though. Look at her leg there. It's always good to check and recheck your fences to make sure that they're hot enough. And I've got my little fence charge checker and I've got still got 8,000 volts on there. Um, that's what I want to see. And I had just extended this new line, so I'm happy that we've still got a great charge on the fence. Hey Brie, what are you making? I am making a natural fly spray for Dolly. And it, um, the base has apple cider vinegar and then various essential oils like peppermint, a big bottle of peppermint here, and rosemary and basil. And then you add some oil and some dish soap. Great. Flies aren't bothering you so much now. Her legs were covered. 
now they're clear. And her back too. She still has a few flying around, but they're not bothering her near it, nearly as much. Brianna's up here in the garden with a friend who came over weeding between the rows and putting down hay for mulch. I'm coming out here to do some work with Dolly. She's down here by the barn and she's knocking down the grass and weeds and I'm gonna weed around the rest of the apple trees. I started this yesterday. We're done with that job and Dolly's going to do the rest up here mowing this area down over the next two days. We're hoeing the grass out from between our corn rows up here and then we're going to take all of our hay and mulch between those rows. Sometimes what you think you're gonna get done in a day just isn't realistic. But we're working really hard out here. We usually get up early with the kids, do our morning chores, and work through the day. We might run some errands. But we're working out here, one or the other of us, until nine, almost every night. We, we put the kids to bed and then we come back out and work more in the garden. And it's a lot of work but we're really loving this life right now and I think it's gonna pay off. Well, it already is paying off. That was another great day on the homestead. We appreciate your watching our channel and hope y'all have a great night.